Hello everyone. I'm going to assume that everyone here has taken some math classes in their life. If not, then we have bigger problems than learning how to program to worry about. Problems like our economy and our educational system. Because if people in charge of the economy don't even know how to do math, then yeah, I understand why it collapsed. Anyways, back to the topic. So variables. We've seen stuff like x equals 2, uh, mass equals 90. We've seen all that in math and physics and everything. So what does this mean? It basically means that the variable x has the value 2 stored in it. Okay, The variable x would have the, the value 2 stored in it. Or in here, the value of 90 is stored in the word or the variable mass. Okay, So we can say that the name of the variable is mass and the value of it is 90 in this example. And this is just math. We're not even in C++ yet. Okay, in C++, so now we're in C++, um, basically it's not just numbers that we can store in variables. We can store letters, you know, like words and stuff, numbers, decimals, integers, which are all numbers but different categories. So that's why when we have to declare a variable and initialize it in C++, and don't worry if you don't know what that means, we have to actually tell it what type the variable can store. We would have to tell it we want if, if we want the variable to store an integer, if we want it to store a decimal, if we want it to store letters, like words and stuff, or, or what exactly we want it to store. And that's called the data type of a variable. So data types are basically, in C++ there's a lot of them, but I'm going to cover four of them right now. And the main four are int, um, double, string, car. Okay. Int stands for integer and not hamburger. I, I don't know why you would have guessed hamburger, but you know, int stands for integer. And obviously, if we say int x equals 2, this is the code to declare a variable x as an integer and initialize it to the value 2. So by typing this statement in C++, in the C++ compiler, what we're doing is we're telling the computer to create a variable called x and make it of type int, which means that it only stores integers, and give it the value 2, which is an integer, so that's okay. Double is basically the decimals, so a double would be 3.4, 5.2, and so on. And to uh, store or to make a variable that is double and stores a value of 2.4, for instance, we would do, okay, double mass equals 2.4. Okay, and that way we told the computer to create a variable of type double and then store in it the value 2.4. Okay, we'll cover string and character later on. For now, let's just deal with int and doubles. As you can see, we're not even outputting anything on the screen. This is just, you know, I was just showing you the string and character. We're not even outputting anything on the screen. So even if we debug this, start without debugging right here, build. Even if we debug it, nothing will show on the screen. Okay? Because all we did is declared and initialized a variable. And that's all in the system. It's not shown to the user. Okay? We can also like make variables without giving them a value. So we can declare variables without initializing them, such as int, um, int age, for instance, and semicolon. That works. It, it doesn't have a value in it. What you did is you made a variable, you made it a location, a storage location, if you will, but you didn't store anything in it. All you did is you told it, okay, storage lo location called age, and the type of it is integer. Okay, but I, I don't, I don't want to give it a value right now. You can give it a value later on if you want. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is the name of the variable. So the name of the variable has to be um, 
you know, has to follow certain rules in C++. And I'm going to cover those rules in my next video. But for now, just know that you can't just name it anything. Okay. Um, something else I wanted to talk about is, yeah, the syntax again is you type in the type of the variable and then the name of the variable and then the equal sign if you want to initialize it to something and the value after that and then a semicolon okay so that's all you have to do to declare or initialize or both a variable okay watch my next video and we're gonna talk about this some more if you're totally confused it's okay just watch my next video bye